guys hope you are keeping safe and you're doing okay so i'm making your goat and uh today we are going to make omena daga or sardines so i'm going to start by sorting out my omena and removing the chaff so i'm going to do this then clean my omena then we are going to boil it for six hours yes so i'm done sorting out so these are the chaff which also People, some people cook them and eat them, yes. So I'm going to come in with the warm water. Then allow the omena to sit uh, in the warm water for around uh, three minutes. Then I'm going to remove the omena and you're going to see how much that uh, is going to come out. Yes. So I'm removing and putting it in uh, my pot. So the water is a bit hot. So that's why you can see <laughs> I'm shaking my hands. So this is uh, the chaff, which is there so as you can see how you could have cooked your mena with a lot of of that so the water is warm so i'm going to pour this then use the same sufria for boiling so i'm going to add my omena into the sufria and uh, put water then put in my jiko i'm not going to boil this in the gas because i'm going to boil this as i said for six <coughs> hours slowly on the jiko so my jiko is ready and we're going to put our mena and boil. <laughs> so I'm going to be pouring. It's cooking halfway. Then I pour the water and fresh. So this is our fifth water. I'm going to add omena. I'm sorry. I'm going to add uh, the garlic. Yes. So our omena is ready. Uh, I'm going to fry it. So I have omena. Then uh, I have uh, a glass of milk. Uh, onions, oil, cubes tomato paste which wasn't necessary and tomatoes so i used very very ripe tomatoes so the same we are going to fry it on our jiko yes so remember my our omena cooked for six hours so we are not going to let it boil uh for a long time here so i'm adding oil onto my sufuria if you like cooking pot whichever suits you yes so i'm adding this then i'm going to allow my oil to heat then uh, i'll come in with my onions so you guys if you've ever used jiko you know how sweet <laughs> food cooked from the jiko tastes <laughs> <laughs> yes so i'm going to fry my onions until uh, a bit translucent then i'm going to add my tomatoes so my tomatoes were really 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 ripe and red so i'll add salt to soften the tomatoes then um, i'm going to add tomato paste actually it wasn't necessary for me to use tomato paste because the tomatoes were so ripe then i'll come in with my cubes so i'm going to mix everything together then i'll add in my omena yes at this point i assure you the omena is not bitter at all at all at all at all even if it was that kind which is bitter it's not bitter remember we boiled this for roughly six hours yes so it's not bitter at all so if you have a young baby you want them to consume this it won't be bitter yes so uh, i'm going to add milk i used one glass that is uh, 500 ml so i'm going to add this and uh, stir everything in together then i'm going to allow this to cook for around 10 minutes then our omena stew is going to be ready yes as simple as that so i'm mixing this and allowing it to cook so at this point my omena is ready so we are going to serve this. So you can have this with kenyeji, but it's so sweet with mrenda. <laughs> yeah, so we are going to serve this. So you have this with ugali and some vegetables. Yes, so this is our mena stew. It's that simple to make it. So I'm done. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, kindly do. Until next time. Bye.